This is very stylish in a vegan kind of world. I'm so proud of my bros and curls. Hey y'all, you wanna see how I got this look? Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Also, did you subscribe yet? Did you hit that bell that lets you know when I have a new video out? I'm so excited. This is my drugstore slay. What y'all think? Whole Foods have makeup, y'all. Hey everybody. Today's the day where we're gonna be doing our drugstore tutorial with Pacifica. It is 100% vegan and cruelty free, like most, like, well, nearly all of my brands that I use on here, but Pacifica you get from either Target or Whole Foods. I usually get mine from Whole Foods. I live in New York City, so there's a Whole Foods on the Bowery and there's Whole Foods on 14th Union Square, and I usually get my products from there. The Bowery, um, Whole Foods has a way, way bigger makeup selection. Um, you can usually pick from Dr. Hauska, Mineral Fusion, Zuzu Lux, and Pacifica. Um, I like Zuzu Lux as well, but these are all natural brands that you find in an organic grocery store. Right now, I have not washed my face because I usually wash my face with this quinoa, I don't know if you can see it, quinoa sensitive, super gentle face wash. Um, I use that, it's for sensitive and dry skin. And I'm using this Indian Coconut Nectar Body Butter um, for, this is the Pacifica, uh, perfume, oil. It's just so great. Um, for me, my skin is pretty tolerant of everything. Um, I just have to make sure that I drink my enough water. to be anything, it tends to be dry, not necessarily oily. So, there's some products I'm using that I might not recommend for oily skin, like using body butter. But I like using body butter um, on my on my face and on my body. Pacifica, this is my um, pure hydrating primer. But Pacifica and other natural green beauty brands have to do better at representing brown skin. Um, they don't have any foundations that are even close to my color at all. Um, they have a BB cream that's shade adjusting, but I, I haven't tried that. Yet. Beauty and green beauty brands tend to not. Uh, cater to black women except for Fenty Beauty, which is not necessarily 100% cruelty free and vegan um, But what I will say is that they offer Products for my skin type. So therefore I will Frequent those that have my skin type in mind. I want to show you Pacifica because We can slay on anything So let me show you some tricks and some ideas that you can use when you're using a limited makeup supply but I love Pacifica and their colors and their glosses and things like that. Just know you're not going to get super pigmented stuff when you're dealing with 100% vegan and cruelty free and also natural makeup. All right, so I'm going to use this eyebrow gloss and set. Make sure my eyebrows are good to go, like so. Eyebrows are done, so now I'm going to do one eye with this Champagne Supernova and Sky natural minerals palette um just so you'll know uh pacifica is made without any parabens fdnc color petroleum and carmine 100 vegan because you know carmine is beetle juice <laughs> all right so this dye's eye is done i'm gonna do an under eye afterwards but yeah i like it the way it looks so we're going to i'll show you how to do how i did this eye y'all ready for it What I do is I put this um, rainbow liquid mineral strobe on it and I try to just blend. That dream big mascara though, y'all. All right, so the eyes are done. So now let's get on to the face. I'm gonna be using my, um, this is in Mocha. This is my Shea Moisture Weightless Shea Serum Foundation. I love it. And it's also a drugstore brand that you can get at Target, which is also natural, organic, cruelty-free, vegan. So now I got this uh, concealer happening, so I'm just going to put my hazel on the concealer parts so it can warm it up. Alright, so now that my concealer is done and I've set it, I'm going to put this uh, Aquarian Gaze in deep under my eye here so I can give it some pop of color. Yeah, y'all. So now I'm going to smoke out this lower lash with that blue again so that blue can stand out some more.
Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna take my Antonym Cosmetics and what's this color called? Copper, baked blush copper, and I'm just gonna sweep across my cheeks to give a nice little flush of color. It was pretty to finish nice. off the look, I'm gonna use my Poppy and Light and Gloss. I tried the Luscious lipstick and I just didn't like the way it dried down, so I think this Enlightened Gloss would be really, really beautiful with it. See, what did I say? Mm-hmm. How come y'all didn't tell me I forgot my highlight? So, let me go back with my, I love this Rainbow Crystal stuff because you can use it for almost everything. But y'all didn't tell me. Come on now. I gotta set it off with the highlight, y'all. Come on. So now I'm gonna set it off now. Let that dry with my aloe vera and water. Let me tell you what I love about this tutorial. First of all, this eye makeup is beautiful and it's easily blendable, so that's what I love about it. And also too, that you can get some high pigments out of a very natural So brand. I would say that it is worth it because it is inexpensive. So I got this lip gloss for $9. The eye shadow palette was like 10 or $11. So it's not bad. And you know, I made it work and it's like a nice smoky eye and nobody would know that this was 100% vegan and cruelty. You get a nice set of stuff for like $100 or so, as opposed to getting one or two things at Sephora or Ulta for $100. So I think it's worth your coins. Um, I also love how blendable the eyeshadows are and I, I just like the color. I do think that Pacifica needs to step it up when it comes to skin, when it comes to foundation colors and, and concealer colors, but I do think there are colors Colors for eyeshadows, lip glosses, blushes, um, mascaras that are perfect for our skin. So let me know what you think. I'll put all the products I use in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on Thursday.